so my name's Jeff. Jeff. Oh, nice to meet you, Dad. Ismail. Ismail? Ismail. Okay, yes. good to meet Adelina. you. Adelina. Adelina? Yeah. Okay, pretty name. Oh, thank you. So I'll, I'll talk to you primarily. Okay. Um, yeah. Sure. Just, ask her just feel free to jump in. Yeah. So, yeah, so what, Adelina, so what do you think happens after we die? What's your uh, belief um, about that? That we go to heaven. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you believe we have a soul? Yes. You know, like a yes, spirit. Do. Yes. Do you think everybody goes to heaven? Um, good question. I never <laughs> thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I we, we want everyone that. to go to heaven, I'm pretty sure, but, you know, uh, yeah, what do you think about that? Good question. I never sat down to think about that. <laughs> but I think that, I, I mean, I think everybody everybody carries their, their spirit, their soul, like in a different way. That if you know that you have um, no guilty conscience, that you know that you did good on earth, that you're you're fine. I, I believe that in God's hands you'll be you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, do you have a religious background? I'm Catholic. Catholic or yes. okay. Um, now, I think officially the Catholic Church would teach that there is heaven and hell, right? Yes. Uh, what do you think? So, just so you know, I'm not Catholic. I'm Protestant okay. Christian. So, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon, anything, anything like that. <laughs> anything else? That's fine. <laughs> but, um, what do you think would be the difference between someone who ends up in heaven and someone who ends up in hell? You know, because um, we're going to be in eternity a long time. We want to get it right, yeah. right? But for ourselves, for our loved ones, you know, for for everyone. So, so. Um, yeah. So, what do you think would be the difference? Maybe um, God could give them a God gives them a mission um, to come back to Earth to help somebody to, um, for maybe to recuperate all those sins that they did to to open the doors of heaven. Okay. So, um, so they get a second chance. Yes. So it's kind of like you believe in, uh, say, reincarnation. Yes. For people that didn't make it. Yeah. Um, it makes me think about uh, the. Um, the movie, um, It's a Wonderful Life, where the angel has to come down and get his wings. Yes. Like he has to do some good deeds. Yes. You know? Yes. <laughs> so now, so that, that sounds kind of like, um, I would, I'm guessing that that's more kind of like, a, well, I hope there's this other opportunity so people don't have to go to hell kind of thing. Yes. With, yeah. And so you, I think that so your spirit can rest in peace as well, because I, I mean, see. besides opening the doors of heaven, I, I do believe that your soul has to rest in peace. Yeah. So you don't have no um, leave anything behind that you know that you tie up loose ends and yes. things like that, relationships yes. and yeah. Do you have any experiences with maybe what what we would say are ghosts or spirits of people where you feel like they're not in peace and they are trying to tie up loose ends? Um, no, I just know, I just know I went through the experience. I'm a cancer survivor. Oh, okay. And I do believe that uh, when God gives sends you um, people, even in your dreams, that to come and help you um, for your health, to they come for a mission, and I do believe that they're here to to make us um, to give us strength to to make us want to live. Yeah. So, like we have our, our faith that when we pray that we are sick, we're in bed, and I believe that when they come, they come to heal us. Okay. And I do believe in that. Yeah. That's and I did have a dream like that. Okay, so you had dreams, but you, is, what, was it true or like that's, hard that's to know? That's one thing to that that's unexplainable. Yeah. yeah. Because it's really hard to explain that, but people will say like until you see it, you believe it. But yeah. Like, actually, when you go through it, I I. When I was dreaming, I woke up like talking to somebody, like the nurse that was okay. curing me, wow. was healing me. Yeah. So I that's ended a up, pretty uh, traumatic time, or yeah, for a year. Wow. And I had all I God am bless you. free for a year. Yes, yeah, <laughs> ovarian cancer, and um, I survived it. Yeah. I was in the second stage, and and I was praying with my ro my rosary uh -huh. every day, and yeah. and I have my beliefs, and and I do believe in them. Yeah. Yes. So I um I do ask different people from time to time, you know, have you experienced, say, like a, a loved one or that sort of thing? And I'm finding that a, it seems like about 20% of the people I talk to have, you know. And usually it's around, say, the death of a loved one. Like it's kind of like near that. Um, 
and I don't know what to make of it. I don't find any support for it in the Bible, you know, but at the same time, I don't doubt their sincerity, you know, I don't doubt yours. Mm -hmm. So as, as, as yes. a Protestant, you know, like we base our, our beliefs, really try to base them on the Bible rather than say like tradition or, yes. um, you know, just hearsay, things like that. Yes, make it up. Make yeah. Like people make it up or something. So, but everybody passes their own um, experiences and, and yeah. I believe everybody has their own book. So your own, uh, your own story to tell. Yeah. I think that everybody's different and you're here in the search to, to share it with people, to explain what actually happened to you or to that yeah. you can share it to somebody else that actually could help them as well with having faith. Would you say that as a result of that experience, you're very grateful? So it's like, because um, cause the Bible is real clear that God is, is God, <laughs> and we're not, <laughs> yes. and he deserves all the glory and all the honor and all the credit, you know? And so, in, so even though I as a Protestant might not believe in that or believe that that's, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what to think about it, right? Because people like yourselves tell me, you know, things like this. But at the same time, it sounds like you're giving God the glory for it, however he, he brought it about. Whether, he, whether it was a dream and nothing more than a dream, or whether it was an actual visitation by a spirit of some sort, you know? But it's, but it's God who you're thanking and giving the glory to, which is, you know, what the Bible says is, no one deserves glory but God alone, you know? Yes. So, so... Um, yeah, and, and the Bible's real clear there's a spiritual world, you know, like we're surrounded by a spiritual world that's actually more real than this one because it's gonna, this is temporary. Yes. You know, the spiritual world is forever. And, uh, and so what, maybe God is sending angels, you know, to do his bidding. The Bible does talk about that, you know. Yeah, and then, and then on the other hand, there's demons, you know, yeah, fallen angels. And you have family members so, that watch over you too as well. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. That's where I'm not, that's where I'm iffy. I would love to believe that. It sounds great, but I don't find, you know, like when I read the Bible, I don't see that in there, but, you know. So let me ask you this real quick, and I want to respect your time because I'm sure you want to catch up. So, so we're Protestant. I'm Protestant. We're, ca we're Christian. We, we're Protestant Catholic. Yes. We believe in Jesus. That's what makes a Christian a Christian, you know, Christ's people, right? So we believe in Jesus. What do you think... Um, was his role like why do you think he died on the cross you know yeah, it was for our sins yeah so yeah so it was a sacrifice yeah a sacrifice for us which i'm just thinking like if you if you never thought about like does everyone go to heaven or not you know mm -hmm. you also may like i grew up lutheran which is very similar to catholic and until people ask me some good questions i never really thought about okay why did jesus die on the cross i know it was for our sins but how is that connected to our sins you know how, how can we be forgiven because of that and in just in a nutshell god loves people but he also loves justice so there must be a consequence for sin and so so uh, either we take that consequence in hell, being punished, that's the consequence for our sin, or his own son took that consequence for us in our place on the cross, because he was innocent, you know? He's, he's holy, he didn't deserve to be there, yes. but he took the punishment in our place. And so, um, so I think, you know, like as Catholics, you walk into church and uh, you see Jesus on the cross, it's a reminder all the time of, yeah, he's the one that took our punishment for us. And so I just want to encourage you. Our tendency, our human tendency, is to trust that, well, maybe I could be good enough for heaven. But if we could be good enough, then we wouldn't need Jesus. So we're sinners. We've sinned against God and broken his commandments. And we need a savior. So maybe it's a friendly reminder, you know, <laughs> of uh, putting our faith, giving God the glory and thanking him for sending, you know, ministering spirits to you and uh, but also sending Jesus to save us. And uh, so, amen. <laughs>
All right. Oh, I hope I didn't have that pointed just at me. 